vlog for May 12th. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I did it the last couple of days on my channel, on my vlog channel, but I'm going to keep doing my <sighs> vlog channel. I had like training with vlog for a little bit on my main channel. And then I realized that, um, um, yesterday that I don't think I'm going to do training. I'm going to do training and stuff, but it's not going to be a priority. It's, um, I have to make my website my priority from now on. Um, I'll still do training though, you know, just a lot more than I was just to keep my body from falling apart. But I have to keep my, um, my, uh, priorities on my website. Otherwise I'm never going to finish it. I've got way too much that I started and, uh, yeah, so yesterday I got up and I went running and, you know, I was waddling okay until I went to, uh, uh, the base of, uh, um, um, Mount Sinitas. And as I got to the base of Mount Sinitas, there was this dude with some dogs and he was just walking like he was dressed in shorts and just not even dressed like running or anything and he and I passed him at the base but then he passed me again towards the top and because I was so out of shape I could barely even you know walk up it um there were a whole bunch of people on the mountain um and um and then I kind of I was passing people on the way down but I wasn't running I was just kind of like stumbling stumbling my way down and I got to the bottom of the hill and um made it a couple more blocks and realized I couldn't run anymore and uh yeah I'm a total total disaster it's totally disconcerting so I called my mom and had her pick me up so um that's it I came home and just worked until like midnight um on my uh my timeline and realized that um um, yeah, I've got, whew, I mean, I could work like 12 hours a day for the next two years and like not even be done. So I'm basically married to my website. I've got way too much, uh, way too many projects going. So, um, you know, but I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna exercise. Um, I, um, I'm not going to do anything today though, you know, like if I do it, I could, I could exercise every other day and call it, call it good, you know, um, I probably would do a ride or something today, but, um, I'm going to hang out with my mom cause it's mother's day. So I didn't want to get in the way of that. Um, I think I'm going to do spend, it's like 1040 now. <sighs> Just got up. Um, I'm going to, um, listen to, uh, Diogenes all day long on my cell phone. Um, it reads it fast. It'll get it done faster than with a normal reader. Cause I really want to do a book review of Diogenes. I love these book reviews. I want to try and do a book review every single day, day, dang day. Um, you know, and it's very compatible with exercising with doing endurance sports. Cause you can hear the book just fine. And, uh, whether it's, whether it's a person reading the book or if it's, uh, the phone reading, um, the text off the cell phone, the cell phones are set up where you can't turn the screen off. And if you get a call, that's, that's, it's ruined. You have to start all over again, but whatever, I'll just do that. I'll just have to guess where I was in the book and, um, start over, you know, maybe if it gets bad enough, I'll, I should contact Apple and tell them that they need to program these phones to, 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 to keep the rig priority over catching, uh, getting phone calls. Um, somebody commented on my video yesterday that Androids are much better than iPhones. So when I have to get a new iPhone, whenever that is, or a new phone, I'm, I think I'll get an Android just to see if that, that has a different feature. But, um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, just so that I don't get interrupted, I'll do my best to, um, um, I'll do my best to, um, um, listen to a, uh, just the, the LibriVox where people read it to you because that doesn't interrupt you. And if somebody does call, it picks you, it picks you up again where you left off. Um, 
But uh, I can't do Diogenes with LibriVox because they only have book six, starting with chapter three. For some reason, Diogenes is the, the most interesting freaking book that has ever been written. It really takes you into the world of ancient Greece. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. Get started on Diogenes and just work on my, uh, on my castles until my mom calls and we're going to go see Captain Marvel. So, uh, all right. Oh, I had a dream last night that, uh, <laughs> I'm starting to remember my dreams, which is great. Um, I had a dream last night that I was part of like some high school, maybe I was a high school kid. I was some part of high school group going on a field trip and we were getting on a plane and I was really freaked out getting on the plane because you hear about these planes crashing and I didn't want to be in a crashing plane and whoever we were taking off in a snowstorm I was in uh, first class because we had these really big cushy seats and then the seats they had to design where the seats in front of you could like disappear into the floor if nobody was in it and there's this dude next to me but he didn't seem freaked out but we were taking off in a snowstorm and we were, we were taking off underneath this, um, underneath a terminal, you know, so he had to, the, the pilot had to, had to, you know, dodge the terminal under it, and it was sketchy, but then we went to the other, um, some other town, and, um, yeah, part of some convention or something, but I don't really remember much beyond that. Okay, so that's my vlog for today. I'm going to get going on Diogenes now. How exciting. Hopefully I can finish it today and do my video. Woohoo!